As the final days of the Second World War in Europe occurred, with Berlin being bombed heavily, there was chaos brought to the capital of the Third Reich. Hitler himself was holed up inside of the Führer bunker, and he refused to leave Berlin, and had decided to die inside of his bunker. The area around the Führer bunker was under immense pressure, but on the 30th of April 1945, Hitler took his own life, and over the next few days, other members of his inner circle did the same, or attempted a breakout. There is still much mystery as to what happened to a number of high-ranking Nazi officials who seemingly disappeared after being last seen at the Führer bunker. One man was Hitler's personal secretary, Martin Bormann, who it's believed died in fighting around the city. But another man who seemingly disappeared in the fall of Berlin was Heinrich Müller, a high-ranking member of the SS who was also the chief of the Gestapo. But there is a disturbing belief and theory as to what happened with Müller, and it's believed that he was possibly buried inside of a Jewish cemetery, despite being a man who was complicit and took an active role in the Holocaust and the final solution. So join us today as we look at the Gestapo chief buried in a Jewish cemetery, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. As the chief of the Gestapo, Heinrich Müller became known as the Gestapo Müller, and he was trusted by Hitler, Heydrich and also Himmler. He was responsible for making the Gestapo a feared instrument of the Nazis, who used it to terrorise the population of Germany and occupied lands, and to use the Gestapo for hunting down any resistance. The Gestapo under Müller's leadership was successful in infiltrating and destroying groups who were in resistance to the Nazis, and they also hunted down communists and other political opponents. It was Müller who was involved in the false flag operation Himmler, which led to the Germans justifying their invasion of Poland, under false Polish aggression. Muller had during this operation collected around a dozen condemned men, and they were dressed in Polish uniforms. Muller told the men they would be pardoned and released, however instead they were given lethal injections and were shot in the head to make them appear as if they had been killed in false fighting. Muller was also involved in espionage, and he kept a close eye on the Abwehr under Admiral Wilhelm Canaris. Following the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich, who was Muller's superior, Ernst Kaltenbrunner took over, and Muller remained close with Heinrich Himmler. Together he was involved in plans for the final solution, and the plans to exterminate all the Jews of Europe, and along with other senior SS figures such as Adolf Eichmann, Muller was involved in the planning. Eichmann in fact was Muller's subordinate, and Muller was also involved in the Nazi policies towards the Jews, and he had given instruction previously to Eichmann to deport around 80,000 Jews. Despite his work being police work, Muller was in charge of the movements to execute and exterminate the Jews of Europe, and Muller received a number of detailed reports about the Einsatzgruppen. These death squads, it's believed, killed more than 2 million during the cover of the Second World War, and Muller ordered that the Einsatzgruppen should commit their murder, away from the view of the spectators. He was present at the Von C conference, and was involved in securing the killing operations for the extermination camps. Muller played a central role in the organisation of the Holocaust, and there was clear evidence of his involvement after the war. His subordinate Adolf Eichmann after the war was brought to justice, but Heinrich Muller would never face any sentence for his crimes against humanity. Muller continued to work in organising the Holocaust, but after was also placed in charge of executing and arresting all of those involved in resistance acts against Hitler, including the July 20th plot. His Gestapo arrested around 5,000 people, with the failed bomb plot against Hitler, and around 200 people were executed. Muller stated that we won't make the same mistake as in 1918, we won't leave our internal German enemies alive. As the Second World War turned against the Germans, Muller remained in his job as the head of the Gestapo, and he still believed they would win, and he backed the Ardennes offensive to lead to a recapture of Paris. In April 1945, Heinrich Müller was within the last remaining members of Hitler's inner circle and Nazi government, who took shelter inside of the Führer bunker in central Berlin. He was there whilst the Red Army fought their way into the city during the Battle of Berlin. He was given one final task, to capture and interrogate Hermann Fagerlein, as he was arrested following news reaching Hitler that Himmler attempted to broke peace with the Allies. He managed to locate Fagerlein, but then Fagerlein was executed. It was noted that on the 22nd of April 1945, by Traudel Junger, Hitler's secretary, that Muller was inside of the bunker that day, and was seen talking with Hitler. 
It was also said that Muller had assumed Ernst Kaltenbrunner's duties, and it was confirmed that eight days later, on the 30th of April 1945, Muller was once again inside of the Führerbunker. He was in full uniform on the afternoon that Hitler took his life. Muller's last sighting was on the evening of the 1st of May 1945, inside of the bunker, the day after Hitler died. Hans Bauer, Hitler's pilot, said, How we know the Russian methods exactly. I haven't the faintest intention of being taken prisoner by the Russians, meaning that senior Nazis would have preferred to take their own lives than fall into the Russian hands. From the 1st of May 1945, there has been no other trace of Heinrich Müller, and who remains the most senior Nazi, whose fate still remains a mystery. But it's believed that as Berlin fell to the Soviets, that he either was killed in the fighting, or in fact took his own life, and his body was never recovered or identified. There have been efforts to find Müller's whereabouts after the Second World War, and the CIA searched for him greatly. They could not find his location, body or grave, and it was even possibly believed that he could have survived the intense fighting around Berlin. Müller's family in the 1960s were placed under surveillance, and there were a number of reports his body was found after Berlin fell, but none of these reports led initially to a concrete line of inquiry. They were all rather contradictory. It was even considered that he could have been working for the Soviets. But it has been reported that Heinrich Müller was buried and interred in a mass grave, which is rather disturbing, based on the work he completed in his role within the Third Reich. It's estimated that 70,000 civilians and soldiers died in the last three weeks of the war in Berlin, and after the fighting the clean-up operation began. There were many corpses in the streets, and each district of the city had a group of grave diggers who were to collect corpses and bury them in mass graves. A number of these mass graves were inside of the Mitte Jewish Cemetery, and in particular, there was an estimated 2,700 bodies inside of this Jewish cemetery. Evidence was discovered from a local gravedigger named Walter Luders, who approached police in West Germany in 1963, and he stated he had buried the body of Heinrich Müller, and he was interrogated a number of times. He was shown photographs of Müller, and he said, I can say that that person pictured in the photo was in appearance identical with the corpse, and he said he buried Müller inside of the Jewish cemetery, which at the time was in East Berlin. The graveside could not be investigated at the time, and since there have been no attempts to investigate the alleged grave site. In 2013, the claims regarding Muller being buried inside of a Jewish cemetery came out once again, and historians believe that they had in fact solved the mystery after seeing documents that the Gestapo chief was in fact buried inside of the Jewish cemetery. It's believed that in the fighting around the Führerbunker, which was intense and brutal, that Heinrich Muller was either shot dead by Soviet troops or took his own life in Berlin Mitte. It's believed that Soviet forces did not identify him or did not treat his remains with any special consideration and that he was buried inside of the mass grave inside of the Jewish cemetery. This does leave a bad taste in the mouth as a body in the general's uniform with Muller's identification documents was interred inside of the mass grave. The fact Heinrich Muller's body today may still remain inside of a cemetery of the people he tortured and inflicted such suffering on is a huge mark of disrespect and is incredibly tasteless. But still today no DNA confirmation or extraction of any remains to confirm that Muller lays inside the cemetery has not been carried out and with this we cannot 100% confirm the truth. Once again thanks for watching. To support our channel please make sure to subscribe and once again Thank you so much for watching.